hello YouTube today I'm going to show you how to add the uh, Chrome Google Chrome and Mozilla on notepad++ so here I have opened the project here my simple project PHP and I'm using this notepad++ so you just have to go to run button and then you see by default we should have the the Google Chrome and Mozilla here but but for some reason we don't have them so what you have to do just click run and then you click search and then you go to your PC wherever you have installed the Google Chrome to my computer I have installed the Google Chrome on this file called program file x86 so I'm going to look for Google Chrome and it's here and Chrome and if you look at this you have this um, the Chrome that ends with exe extension so what you have to do you click at the end of the of this line you give a space and then you type the quotation and you put the dollar sign dollar sign and braces then you type full current path okay and then and then you save now once you save it's going to ask you to create the shortcut but you give the name of the of the browser which is Google Google Chrome or you can just type Chrome Chrome just like that and here we create the shortcut you can either uh, put the uh, control out and shift whatever you like and then you mix with the whatever number or, or any letter that is closer to the way you would like to, uh, to have the shortcut then I'm gonna put like let's say um, control alt uh, Z is very close to um, to control alt or X whatever I'm gonna put here X and sometimes you may get the conflict with the other shortcut that you may have on your PC for example if I pull let's say um, I'm not so sure but let's see yeah like this one L there is a conflict found so you skip that you look for something like X here there's no conflict and then OK and then once once you have done so you, j you can just um, cancel you have save and then this time if I want to run this program here I just click here and you see it's here Chrome if I click takes me uh, to the uh, Chrome and then because I have this is uh, I'm using some so I can just put localhost my server is on and then you see the, the project runs so it's the same way if I want to uh, use the Mozilla for those of you who are using Mozilla you do the same only what you change here you can just copy this cut it and then we clear here now and now we search again we go back to the PC wherever you have installed your Mozilla usually Mozilla it's on the program files because I'm using the 64 bits on this PC uh, and it's here and I'm going to use for Mozilla Mozilla EXE it's, it's here and then I have to add the space remember the space if you don't add the space it's gonna it's not gonna work then you paste this current I mean the full path current path and then you save and then you put the name here let's say Mozilla um, I don't know whether it's does this correct spelling I don't know but yeah Mozilla and then you give the the shortcut key and I'm gonna give this time let's say uh, which, um, 
maybe S is very close to Control Alt C on my keyboard, and then okay, the, we see the conflicts found, so S won't work here. Then we have to add um, R won't work. Uh, y it's okay. So and then you save, then you cancel, remove, and anytime I want to run this software, I mean this program as a simple program. If I want to run with Mozilla, just click here. see it's taking sometimes yeah and here we are so I can just remove the type the local host and you see we are here so thank you guys for your time and remember subscribe if you haven't to and then um, and also remember to like and bye bye